Hi, welcome to Learn With Me. In this video, I'm going to show you one way that ice can form on a lake. Ice forms on a lake when the temperature of the air drops below freezing and the top layer of the lake also drops below freezing and very thin sheets of ice can form. The ice is so thin it's see-through and it's actually can be very difficult to see. Now occasionally something interesting happens. The thin layers of ice have formed on the surface of the lake and the wind begins to blow them to one side. Let's see how this looks and sounds. You can see the ice being pushed to the side and being pushed on top of other thin pieces of ice. The ice in the lake appears virtually invisible until it goes on top of the other sheets of ice. Many sheets of ice become accumulated on top of each other and sometimes they become thicker and thicker and really build up along the shore. In some cases, many, many sheets of this ice that have been pushed together accumulate at one end of the lake, the direction that the wind usually blows it. The ice pieces clump together and together and their chill and the chill from the air temperature may cause them to form a mass that covers the lake and appears to be solid. This is a close-up view where you can see all the small pieces that have been pushed together in the lake. Here's another view where you can see that they become frozen a bit more solid. So it may appear that it would be okay to walk on it. But beware, it is not really solid. When a lake freezes, it always freezes from the top down. The top can get colder than the bottom of the lake. The bottom of the lake will still stay warm. So this is great for the animals that live inside the water because they can remain um, under the water whether it's still happening. The pressure from the ice eventually creates um, a more dense water down below and it makes it really kind of impervious to freezing so it makes it very difficult for the bottom of the lake to freeze. Now beware, sometimes people think they can stand on this ice and they can for a little bit until they eventually break through and you can see here these people thought they were really close to the shore but the ice came up almost all the way to their hips, quite dangerous. Now I'd like to leave you with another image again of that ice forming on the lake and being blown across to the side. It's fascinating. The sound you hear is the wind on the camera and the ice sliding on top of each other. You can see sometimes when the ice becomes resubmerged in the water, you really can't tell that it's ice at all until it gets to the edge. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video of ice forming on the lake. This was all the pictures and um, videos were taken at Big Bear Lake in California. I hope you enjoyed watching Learn With Me. Thanks.